Um, yeah, I think, I think, uh, uh, in the short existence of, uh, 13 Serpentine Drive, I think, yes, uh, we have already faced a lot of adversities, uh, with, with certain things. It's definitely, uh, uh, been a bumpy road with this project, but, uh, with that said, I think, you know, anytime you have a, a, a situation where, um, you're facing some kind of tribulation or some kind of trial uh, and that could be you know uh, whether it's you know on a personal level with friendship or, or, or uh, within the professional you know realms of the band itself and the, and the writing process or making music or, or whatever I think uh, uh, when those tough times do come around to bite and uh, 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 these things do happen and and again, it seems uh, we're getting more than our fair share of this uh, uh, coming down on us. But uh, I think it kind of uh, strengthens you. It kind of tempers you. Kind of like, like the, the metal gets harder, and, and, and you uh, uh, when when each punch is thrown and, and connects with you, it, there's definitely a, a hurt to that. But I think you start to get uh, more conditioned to it. And able to roll with each new uh, problem that arises and kind of again it, it, it makes you stronger and it, it actually makes you want to continue going on and, and it builds uh, I think overall it builds character uh, between the members of the band and and also uh, that character then gets reflected I think sometimes in the strength of the writing or, or uh, the power of the music so to say um, uh, we're currently working on uh, on our CD, and, and the new track is uh, is actually uh, kind of a step away from uh, of what we have been uh, doing routinely of late. Um, I think uh, again, um, every once in a while, I'm hit with quick ideas. And a lot of these quick ideas stem from really uh, emotional spurts within myself. And uh, I think the new one, The, the, the Tall Trees, uh, is the title. And uh, uh, in this one, it, it differs because it's not really a period piece. Um, a lot, of, uh, most of our songs are, are, uh, are reflective of periods of time, different de decades, and and dealing with you know uh, more worked out storylines. Uh, the Tall Trees, however, is, is kind of a, a shift from um, that methodology or, or that style of writing. Uh, kind of very, uh, came to me very quickly and, 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 and almost harkens back to um, my gothic days of the 90s, I guess uh, you could say. It's uh, uh, perhaps something musically or and, and lyrically very, uh, something that I might have worked on in, Saber Sack in that time, and, and, and I feel comfortable with that um, because uh, of the situation of 13 Serpentine Drive. For me, coming from uh, the 90s goth band of, of, of Saber Sack and Loretta, uh, coming from Roses for Isabella with another 90s goth band, so we have that kind of, of uh, that's kind of in the blood of, of, of working on kind of that dark, desolate music and, and, and establishing very dark soundscapes and uh, lyrics being, you know, a, a very emotional kind of uh, isolation type of uh, sad and forlorn and, and, and I really wanted to kind of actually uh, reconnect a little bit with the work I did in the 90s. So this track very much uh, very much in line with what each of us have done in the past, though not so uh, typical of, of a 13 Serpentine Drive song. So it's be kind of interesting, a little, little bit of a, a, an experimentation going on with the tall trees. Uh, I've always been very interested in, in creating atmospheric soundscapes with the music. I really want to... Uh, bring visions into the mind, almost kind of like painting a picture with the music. So if you're sitting down or you throw your headphones on, you want to listen to one of my songs, I'm hoping that it actually uh, uh, brings about, almost kind of like a 
would, would trigger a tiny film running inside someone's head. Uh, lyrics again, you know, telling uh, this. The song does have a storyline, uh, but not nearly as chiseled or worked out. The characters kind of vague in there. Uh, situations kind of vague. Uh, it may actually uh, allow people's minds to wander more because the, it's not so cut in stone. Um, and and the nice thing being is that is that uh, Loretta is very interested in film. I am too, but I don't really have a technical uh, hand in that, and I, I'm not very experienced with with actually making films or working with films. I, I I think it would be something that I'd like to try at some point. But she's already there. She likes to do that kind of thing. So we have this kind of uh, uh, two-person relationship that really. Uh, is again very ongoing and, and very helpful that each of us have a different set of skills you know uh, me with the lyrics and actually writing the music and, and putting that in together and uh, her with the singing and uh, working with videos and visuals so uh, uh, between the two of us we're able to come up and, and, and have everything uh, fully realized in one package, so uh, she'll be working on a video of the tall trees. I'm kind of anxious to see that happen. And uh, again, I think uh, this kind of drifting back a little bit into uh, into our past territory, where we're still pretty comfortable uh, coming from. Again, some of the uh, the troubles we faced, you know, being in in a long distance band, and uh, and uh, uh, just you know not uh, the band itself not being much like other bands you know where we get together regularly or uh, everything is kind of done on a long distance thing and, and, and uh, that creates its own troubles and uh, but I think again uh, overcoming hurdles and obstacles has been uh, something that we've been actually kind of enjoying because it's a growth to that it's a growth process and uh, I think and not only that with the tall trees it, it uh, Again, the whole image of the the forest and the growth and the the song is about the adversity, but all about is the the trees, which which are signs of growth, I guess. So there's a, some maybe some symbolism appearing in my own song that you know sometimes I'm, uh, it it comes as a second uh, a secondary thought, and uh, I may not even be aware. I may be learning from my own songs as I go along. So. Uh, Always fun stuff that is. So hey guys, a little bit of a 13th Serpentine Drive update here. Uh, look out for the tall trees. Uh, we also have our lovely Nazi story coming up, as well as uh, another uh, song set in one of my favorite time periods, the 1950s. So hey guys, look out for that coming up. See you then.